Hey, what's up? This is Christopher, and today I have a demo of MTuber. Now, MTuber is a Final Cut Pro 10 plugin, and what MTuber is for, this is going to enhance your YouTube game. What I mean by that, if you're someone who uploads to YouTube or you're thinking about getting started with creating content for YouTube, you're going to definitely want to check out MTuber if you use Final Cut Pro 10. Now, this plugin costs $69. In the description, I will have a link to where you can purchase MTuber from MotionVFX.com. I'll also have a link where you can watch the demo and the how to use it. So I'm going to show you a little bit about it. Now, this is not exactly a demo showing you how to use MTuber. I'm just going to show you what MTuber features and show you all the different buttons and titles and lower thirds, etc. that you get inside of MTuber. I believe there are 78 total um, buttons or lower thirds or ending sequences that you're going to get all together and I'm just going to go through and show you um, each of these in this demo. Um, also I want to um, also I'd like to mention that you can customize each one of these um, titles or lower thirds or the insulate or the you know the title screen etc the transition you can customize it uh, you click on it and come up here in your inspector and you have all the different parameters that you can adjust like build in build out uh, you can change the color you could upload custom logos for the buttons or whatever that uh, allow you to use a button you can change like the social media icons like as an example really quick I can change that Facebook to Twitter and that Twitter to Instagram and that Instagram to Snapchat, etc. Uh, you could, you know, change the build in, build out. You could change the text on it, the title font. Uh, you can come up here and transform it or crop it. Change the role um, of the uh, title that you have on your clip, etc. So let's get started. So there are two buttons, and I'm gonna go ahead and play these real quick. I also want to mention this footage. I am traveling right now, so I'm not at home. Don't have my microphone either. I'm actually using my earbuds. But I want to mention the footage that you are seeing is demo footage that is from Frame.io. I will link to Frame.io too. If you're doing collaboration work in Final Cut Pro 10, definitely check that out. But let's go ahead and play this. And here is button number one. And then here's button two. All of this is customizable. And then you have some captions here. Caption one the best content on YouTube, and Caption 2. And then we have some icons here. There are two icons, Icon 1. So we got this Facebook icon right here. And then another icon with Facebook. And then you have Icon Tag. There's two of these right here. And then the second Icon Tag. Notice that, that looks really nice. And then we have some lower thirds up here. Second lower third. Here comes the third lower third. Lower third number four. High quality as always for Motion VFX. Highly recommend all their products. And the last one looks really good. Actually, there's one more. I guess there are six of them. And then you have the next thumbnail. It has a drop zone there so you can upload another video. And then here is another uh, up next. And then you have a quote box here. All right, so let me get through. I'm going to do the side tags right here and the subscribe buttons. So let's play through these real quick. Here goes a side tag right here. Now, if you are using... Now, if you're uploading to YouTube and you want to step your game up and you want to make your video stand out, this is definitely the way to go right here. Look, why do you want to sit here and do all this hard work creating these lower thirds or these title sequences or in slates or whatever when you can purchase a plugin that's going to do all the hard work for you and then you can still customize it to make it unique and make it your own, but you have the option of not having to put all this work in. I mean, this would take, you know, hours and hours and hours probably just to create like one of these, you know, inside of motion or After Effects or whatever type of editing software you're using to create uh, motion graphics like this in. 
and uh, you know you have something where you can still customize it to make it unique and it looks really good and it's going to make your video and your YouTube channel stand out now one question people ask like some of these have like where you could do the video in the drop zone no you cannot make those clickable on the actual video yes you can make them clickable in YouTube you can make a hot zone on YouTube after you upload your video and then overlay it on top of that video clip and then they would be able to click the video to go to the next one all right so let's look at some of the end slates here i also want to mention i am not sponsored by motion vfx or anything like that to you know they didn't pay me or anything to do this i just i'm a fan of their plugins i own quite a few of them actually i own a lot of them i've spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their stuff probably thousands of dollars and uh anyway just a fan of their work so let's go ahead and play these this is end slate number one and right there you have a drop zone, you have the logo, you can put your video playing, and then you have some content at the bottom, like a description or whatnot. Uh, looks really good. Now let's get to Insulate 2. This one is circular. you got some social media icons right here. And what the insulates are, like the end of your video, you can either overlay this on top of the video playing, or you could just do it like the outro. You just have like the black screen, or maybe you want to use like a, a different background or something. And then you could put like the hot zone where it says drop zone right there on YouTube, and they click it, it'll take them to that video. Right here you have dual, um, the previous and the next. So if you're doing like an episode series or whatever, you could do this. Uh, right here you have four of them and notice the animations of each of the drop zone areas like when they um the animation in and animate out uh looks really good and here's big uh, a larger uh drop zone for four videos look at those animations top notch here you have dual ones thanks for watching watch more videos you know and then you could also add some other stuff like you could add the subscribe button you know to go along with these insulates um etc uh, watch more right here previous and next again but look at those animations look at that that's that's really nice looking same with that one i mean all these are super nice like uh well worth the money now i want to mention another thing too i bought these for 59 dollars. so motion vfx had a sale uh, like for the first week i believe it ends actually today but for 60 bucks you're still getting something that looks good so let's drop these down here these are simple titles and you can either do these over the top of the video or you could do them before your video, you know, however you want to do it. I mean, you know, um, you can get creative with these. Like I said, they're all customizable up here in the inspector and make them totally unique. When I get to the tools, the tools are really neat for those of you doing like tech uh, product reviews or whatever. I want to do those next. So it's right here you have the uh, titles. These are all uh, simple titles or the title screens. And notice the way that it fades the background out of the video. I mean, that just looks really nice or whatever. You can tell these are really well made. And then they animate out. Just, I mean, super nice. I love the way it blurs the background. And, of course, you can adjust this blur as well. If you don't want it to be blurry like that, you know, you can totally adjust that and or the blur amount, make it even more blurry or make it less blurry or have less of a blur effect, I guess would be a better way to put it. All right, so we have title screen one right here. You can drop your logo in right there, which one to choose, you know, and you can, you know, have a title and then like a description or something up underneath it. A title screen two coming up right here. And then title screen three. Right here, this guy does hardware reviews. Of course, these are just demos, but uh, you can put your logo up there, what type of, you know, tech reviews, whatever it is that you do, and then have your channel name up there at the top. Right here, this one looks really good. You know, you throw your logo in the middle, your name, what episode you're on, and then the title of your uh, project or video. And then the last one, title screen five. Right there, you know, you throw your YouTube name up there and then have like a description of what your channel is about. I mean, these like for 59, 69 bucks, whatever, your YouTube channel is going to be top notch. It's going to look like you put a lot of care into it. And then, like I said, these are all customizable. So, you know, even if someone else has this plugin, you're going to be able to make this um, completely, you know, stand out from anyone else who has this plugin because everything is customizable. And I, these right here, these tools right here, if you're doing any type of tech review or product review or, or whatnot, these are going to come in handy right here because you can do like little call outs to like highlight something. 
Uh, they're really nice or whatever. I plan on using these in videos as well. So these are select frames right here, which is really cool, which kind of like calls out a section of the video. And let me just make that a little bit shorter. And I'll, I'll show you that in one second. So let's go here and let's do the first one right here is the, what was it, the camera icon. I lost my oh, yep, camera record button right here. So this is really cool. Like if you're doing like vlogging, you want to do the little selfie vlog, you could uh, add this on here. Um, just to kind of give it like a you know unique little effect or whatever and right here we have the click So if you want to highlight something on the screen like say I'm doing this review right here And I click I could add that little icon and you could move it to wherever um, You need it to move to you know you could adjust the X Y axis of it the position of it right here You have a default cursor and then you have the hand cursor the pointer cursor and then the last one is the pulsing cursor that one's the hand and then here comes the pointer and you notice the little animation of it, kind of like uh, squeezed in a little bit, squeezed out. And then the pulse and circle, or pulsating circle. All right, we have a search bar right here. Let's get to that. <laughs> so if you're doing a video, you know, like a demo like this, and you say, hey, what are good plugins for Final Cut Pro 10? You know, I can kind of use this little layout right here. Kind of neat. Uh, here goes a select circle. So if you want to select something on the screen, and then let's show you the select frame right there. Notice the way it, it highlights a certain area of the video. I mean, it's centered right now, but you could adjust that. Uh, select frame two. Look at that, the way it blurs everything except what's in that circle. I mean, I could see that being super useful in uh, demo videos or product review videos. And this does the same thing. Instead of the rectangle, it's just square. And then you have the split screen, which I think looks really good. What this would be cool for is if you're doing vlogging, maybe you have two cameras. You have the forward-facing camera that's um, you know facing what you're seeing, and then you have like the rear-facing camera facing you. So you're shooting two angles. On one side, you could show what you're seeing, and then on the other side, you could show your face. I think that'd be kind of like a unique way to uh, you know do vlogging or whatever, and this just simplifies it. You know, it, you don't have to you know, mess with adjusting like two clips and scaling them uh, to perfect sizes or whatever. You just drop that <laughs> on your uh, timeline and you're good to go. All right, so then we have two more. We have the zoom fragment, the full zoom, and then the zoom out thumbnail, which is really cool. So let's do the zoom fragment here. That's kind of the same thing where it blurs like a certain area. I mean, it blurs the outside, and then it zooms in like on a certain portion of the screen. And here goes the zoom full. And that just takes the whole screen, and it just zooms it in. Makes it much bigger. Kind of the Casey Neistat type effect, like when he's talking, and all of a sudden he zooms in on his face. Except you're not having to actually like adjust your... Uh, lens on your camera and this right here is the zoom out thumbnail which is really neat you could add like another video here in the drop zone and then just zoom out what you're doing and right here maybe you have like your outro you know where people could click to subscribe etc but the video still plays in the small thumbnail that's really cool and then let's look at the last few of them we have the transitions and then we have video thumbnails all right so these transitions are different than transitions like you're thinking about like when you drag them between two clips so these right here you're actually going to put other clips like are in the drop zone and then transition between the two clips that you're showing i don't know if that makes sense but let me just show you here let me just start here we'll play them and you see that transition how it kind of faded in and then went full screen and then i'll do the same thing when it fades out transitions from one to the next this one's a different animation for the transition number two. That one kind of fades up. This one kind of comes in from left to right. Let's see which way it uh, pans out. And it went out from center to right. That one right there, the little red swipe. And then it kind of just zoomed in. And then it zoomed out with a red swipe. And that one just kind of zooms in as well. It then goes full screen. All right, so these are the side list right here. 
So we have Sideless 1 right here. You notice this is a similar video. So if you're doing like a tutorial or maybe like a tech review and you reviewed something that's similar, maybe drones, maybe get a Phantom 4 and a Mavic 4, uh, Pro or whatever, and you're like, hey, here goes something that's similar. Same with Sideless 2. Throw your website down there at the bottom. Throw in a couple videos in the drop zone. Let's look at Sideless 3. This one allows you to have three videos. So if you're vlogging, episode 1, 2, 3, you know, etc., makes it easier to... Um, Makes it easier for the viewer to find, you know, previous episode, maybe the next episode. Uh, side list four has four drop zones. And then we have the stripes, which are a strip of videos right there in the middle. And then we have the strip edge that kind of comes down from the top. And then we have some thumbnails right here. Thumbnail one, latest video, thumbnail two. I like that little animation, the way it kind of like twisted in. Let's see if it twists out. Boom. Yep, you kind of twist out. And last but not least, we have thumbnail three. And I just kind of animated in. So this is MTuber for Final Cut Pro 10. Now this was just a demo showing you what you get with MTuber. If you want to know exactly how to use it and how to implement it into your video, I will leave a link in the description to the motionvfx.com website where they show all the demos and everything you need to know about MTuber as well as purchasing it. If you have any questions or comments, leave that down below. One other thing too, please don't ask me to send you this plugin. Every time I do these video demos of plugins for Final Cut Pro 10, I'll get 50 million messages of people asking me, hey, send it to me. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, the answer is no. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, if you ask me, I'm just gonna delete your comment or your email, I'm gonna mark it as spam and I'm not gonna respond to you. So, you know, I'm just going to throw that out there. Not being a jerk, I paid for this. I'm not stealing from the developer. Uh, it's linked to my account anyway with Motion VFX. So as far as that goes, you're on your own. If you can't afford the $69, then you don't need the plug-in. Uh, I don't mean to be a jerk about it, but I'm just being honest. Uh, the last time I did this with the M Transition Zoom, I got like 50 or 60 different emails and comments about sending them the plug-in. You know, so the answer is no. Uh, sorry. Uh, thanks. Hope everyone has a great day. Peace.